Hello everyone, this is the start of a new series of video on nuances that were lost in the translation on the Japanese audio to the English subtitles of an anime, this time on Chainsaw Man. Any translations between two languages as different as Japanese and English can lead to meanings and nuances getting lost, might be from jokes, expressions, culture, or simply mistakes. I just want to make sure to say that those videos are in no way a critic or saying that the translation is wrong or bad. It's already really difficult to translate something and can often come down to being on the interpretations, and translators put their creativity into the translation to make a company story. This content is purely for people that want to know more about the animes that they are watching, are interested in Japanese language or culture, or are just wondering how much stuff gets localized. This series is gonna be spoiler free, up to the episode cover, obviously, and I'll be using the subtitles from Crunchyroll, since it's probably where most people watch the show. Also, I'm being really nitpicky on some stuff, because I didn't want to leave anything that could be interesting to some people, but be sure to let me know if you'd rather want me to skip over the things that doesn't affect the story overall. <laughs> The first thing that I saw a lot of reactors being a bit confused about is the amount of money that Neji talks about. Those are in Japanese yen, and if you want a really quick and very rough estimate, you can remove two digits to have a little better idea of an amount in US dollars. For example, 300,000 yen for his right eye would be about 3,000 US dollars. Even though in reality it's about 2000 with the current rate, it can still give a better understanding on the spot when a certain amount of yen is shown in an anime. When Denji says that he wanna score with a girl, what he's saying in Japanese is onna daite, which is literally holding or being held by a girl. This saying also have the double meaning to mean having sex, which makes it a bit hard to translate. Denji probably meant it in the intimate sense, but at the end of the first episode, Makima probably heard it in the platonic way. I'm probably reading way too much into that. But here Denji is using the expression kokoro no kori to mean regret, and the expression is literally art residue. But usually kokoro is more about the figurative art or mind. So take this with a big grain of salt. If it was unclear enough, the term that Makima is using is Anlakushi, euthanasia. Also, interesting trivia, it is written with peaceful, comfort, and death. <laughs> Nitpicky, but she's saying Hanla, which is half naked. <laughs> A bit of culture, in Japanese the expression hana ga kiku, having an effective nose, can be used to talk about someone who is good for bargaining or for spotting when something is amiss. In the English subtitles here, when it's written you are really swing, what she's using is kenage, which is closer to being praiseworthy. Maybe a lot of people caught it, but here Denji is addressing Hayakawa by Senpai. For those that don't know, senpai is a term used to address someone that is in a grade higher than you at school, or someone that has more experience in your workplace. 
俺は今日初めてうどん食ったぜ初めて人並みの扱いされたし初めて飯食わせてもらった Here, instead of add someone pay for my meal, it's closer to add someone fed me a meal. m e s h i k u a s e t e m o l a t t a Makima Samana, my mita in a chimpia, skin a thing in the end. This links to a dialogue later, but when Hayakawa is saying Makima is not the kind of woman you should be chasing. It could be interpreted as or not being the usual type of a nice person that you should fall in love with. Makima san, more a i a k i t e n a This is a similar point as in the first episode Daku having a double meaning of holding someone or to have sex with someone. マジンって何、はあお前義務教育受けてないのかおお受けてねえよ。The term fin used here in the subtitles comes from the word Majin, which could be interpreted as devil, demon, this person. This was translated into just school, but the term he used is Gimu Kyoiku, compulsory education. おい、なんで悪魔の力使わなかったまあ、俺の力使ってで悪魔を殺すとよすっげえ痛そうなんだわ。Then she said that he didn't use his power because it would have messed up the fiend. He said it a so because it looks painful. もう100点の生活なのになんか足りない気がする。Very nitpicky, but then she says 100点 a hundred point or a hundred percent. 見つけたぜ俺の本気俺のゴールそれは胸だ胸だ This is something that doesn't translate very well, but it's not completely clear if Makima understood what Denji was talking about. In Japanese is made out of a lot less different sounds than English, and because of that, there's a lot more homophones, and you often need to guess based on the context. Then she said, Muneda, booms is only the Mune part, and to keep it simple, da is more or less is. I guess that you can imagine that she heard out of nowhere, is booms. Oi, Hanashi Kite Baga! Denji Kun Niwa, Hyo Kara Badi Wo Kun de Mora. Badi? Not sure why they decided to change that, but the term used in Japanese is strictly Badi. The Japanese pronunciation of the word body. It also seems to be a term that is used in the US Army that goes back to the World War II. If you were wondering if there was something special written on the ID, the middle part is exactly what he said, and the right part is a number. That's it for the first two episodes. Nothing major was lost in the translation, but I hope that you still found some of them interesting. If that's the case and you want more of those kind of videos, you know what to do. I also have a similar series for Spy Family if you want to check that out. Anyway, it's the end for this one, and I'll see you next time.